My boyfriend and I have been dreaming of coming to Japan for a very long time. The feeling I got when I arrived was absolutely indescribable. Out of the many places that we have visited, the city of Osaka left a lasting impression on me. This beautiful city comes across as a more laid back version of Tokyo with the perfect dosage of hustle and bustle. From sunrise to well after sunset, Asaka kept her schedule filled with endless things to do. The Umada Sky Building was equally beautiful outside as inside. The architecture and the panoramic view of Asaka left me completely breathless. Jim and I got to watch the sunset sweep over the beautiful city of Osaka while sharing a matcha ice cream. The moment was perfect. A short walk away, you can find this bright red Ferris wheel situated on top of a mall. Here, you can get another perspective of the city of Osaka. If you are looking for a more traditional activity, Hozenji Temple is a hidden gem. Tucked away in a quiet alley, visitors come here to pray and pour water on the moss cover statue for good luck. At the foot of Tuden Kaku Tower, the streets of Shinshikai sprawl out specializing in kushikatsu, aka bread and skewers. Upon navigating through the side roads, we found a popular local restaurant that was home to the master chef. At $1 to $3 per skewer, you can taste the decades of culinary experience for cheap. We did end up spending $50 though. Growing up, I watched and played Pokemon. I honestly felt like I was a kid again, being surrounded by all sorts of Pokemon things. From keychains to plushies to stationary items, you can literally find anything Pokemon here. I was totally in my zone. Dutambari was complete sensory overload. The flashing vibrant lights, 3D signage and busy streets really added to the high energy atmosphere. If you are a foodie like me, the streets of Dutambari is absolute heaven. Endless rows of food vendors tempting you to just empty your wallet and pig out. Hands down, I had the best aminoyaki, takoyaki, and cheese tart here. I'm still thinking about it. <music> Similar to Akihabira in Tokyo, Dundon Town is the anime and gaming district of Osaka. We were definitely channeling our inner geek here, playing games and indulging in anime and manga. In the heart of Osaka city, you can find one of the oldest Buddhist temple complex in Japan. This temple holds a lot of history and is quite large with lots to see. It made for a perfect peaceful stroll. We were also lucky to have caught a dosage of the Sakura blossoms here too. Upon arriving, I was very impressed with the beautiful surrounding views of the castle. The inside of the castle is an informative museum about the culture and history of the place. Paying a visit to this attraction is a must. It's safe to say I have fallen in love with Osaka. 
The city is famed for its culture, energy, and certainly its delicious food. It comes as no surprise to me that the city of Osaka is one of the fastest growing tourist hotspots in Japan. The city of Osaka has a special charm to it that I'll never forget.